Well, my YouTube friends, Dave Wilson here. Uh, I've got the printer running. It's melting plastic. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm working on now is the filament sensor. Uh, it's been sort of an interesting project because there's not a lot of details on how to do it exactly. So I've had to put a lot of different sources together and um, this is what I've come up with so far. And I'm going to send this to some other people that have been working on it with me, but uh, I think so far i got the wiring working. So this plug from the sensor goes to the back of the tool board into this plug here. Um, swap around. So that took a while to figure out just how to do that. And I think I've got that working right. Um, along the way, I've got the electronics panel, the box all covered up. Um, the wiring for the motor is all pretty well tidied up. The build plate on with uh, <clears throat> the surface on it. And that's one of the things they say that making mistakes is the best teacher. And I've sure learned a lot from this. But I had an adjustment for the height of the nozzle way off. And the first time I tried to do it, it just tore right into this plate. And uh, they're about a little over $100 each. So I figured I'd get some more uh, errors made on this one before I go ahead and flip it over and get a new one. But um, so far, here's what I'm working on. So it's printing. And what I'm trying to do is test, see what happens when the filament runs out. Gotta catch it first, though. There. <clears throat> so, it should be pulling that filament in. And the little sensor's pretty cool. It's got an LED on it. Green is, I guess, green means go, so it's working okay. But when it runs out of filament, it should turn red. There it goes. And then it'll come to this uh, uh, home position. And then it'll eject the little piece of filament that's still left in there out of it. This is where I'm not sure I have the coating exactly right. But it's throwing some of the filament out the bottom. And it's the little piece that's left that's ejecting out. I can just pull this out. And I can get my filament. And reload it. This is my temporary filament feeding situation. And this is where I'm not sure I'm happy with it. I put it back in. I should grab it. And it doesn't seem to be grabbing it. It seems the sensor sees it, but if I pull it out and try it a few times, you now it looks like it's grabbing it. I put this little dot on there so I can tell what was going on. Now that seems to be working and it's feeding it out. So then it starts printing again. And I'm not sure I like this part, the automatic restart. I, I like to be able to say, yeah, I'm happy with it. But uh, as long as it works, I guess that'll be good. But uh, this is where I've gotten so far. And uh, really happy with the way it's going, So uh, the status of it. I still gotta adjust the belts, the tension on them. And when, I get, when I'm happy with that, then I can put the second belt or set of belts on the top. <clears throat> But that's where it's at right now, and um, it's coming along. I appreciate anybody watching, and if you have any comments, please leave them or questions. Thank you.